It is a windy, windy day out there. Hold on to your hats kind of day. High winds sticking around through at least tomorrow. This is Highway 93. Not always the best visual from this camera, but if you're on it, driving, you're holding onto the steering wheel two hands, you know exactly why Highway 93 is kind of bonkers in the wind. Yeah, the base of the foothill is certainly one of the busiest areas, so that's why we find meteorologist Corey Reppenhagen right there along Highway 53 near Cold Creek Canyon. All right, get us up to date. Tell us why you are where you are and why we're so windy, Corey. Hey, Tom, yeah, the winds are still rocking out here at the base of the foothills. We're still getting winds of about 25 to 30 miles per hour right now, but the space where I'm located right now at the base of Cold Creek Canyon actually measured an 81 mile per hour gust earlier today, and they're still getting up there in the 60 to 70 mile per hour range. Now, down here where I'm located at the ground level, the winds are going to be a little bit lighter, so if we had a a 67 mile an hour gust measured up there at 10 meters at this uh, spot. What down here would be about 15 to 20 miles per hour less, but the winds are still rocking and I don't think they've peaked quite yet. We could still catch one of those really big 75 mile per hour plus winds all the way till 10 o'clock tonight. So why is it so windy in the state of Colorado? Like we're all asking, it all comes down to the basic concept that there are just so many different types of scenarios that will lead to high wind situations. This wind event on Monday is called a Bora. It's caused by heavy air sliding down the eastern slope of the Rocky Mountains by the force of gravity. Here's how it works. It starts with a storm system bringing very cold air to the top of the Rocky Mountains. The colder the air, the more dense or heavy it is. So it literally falls down the east slope of the mountains onto the front range being accelerated by the force of gravity. The greater the temperature difference, the faster the winds blow. We also get Chinook winds, which is essentially the warmer version of the Bora. That's the most common type of high wind setup here and they usually happen in the winter months. Colorado's location also puts us frequently in the pressure gradient of low pressure storm systems and high pressure systems. The greater the pressure gradient, the stronger the winds. As a result, Colorado is the eighth windiest state in the country when it comes to the number of high wind warnings issued. Our neighbors to the north, it won't come as a surprise to most to see that Wyoming is the windiest state. All right, and I ju we're just picking up a wind gust here. That's 41 miles per hour right there. So that's a pretty strong gust. The CDOT station right above me at 10 meters is still measuring 60 to 80 miles per hour. So I'll tell you, I have stood in a wind tunnel and actually felt what an 80 mile per hour wind is like. And a 200 pound person can not barely stand in an 80. So these 40 mile per hour winds are pretty strong. And by the way, the reason why Wyoming, Wyoming gets the same wind situations that we get down here in Colorado, but they have more gaps in their mountain ranges and they have more flat land. So they have more wind tunneling effect and they also have less obstruction for the winds. Reporting live out here at right at the base of Cold Creek County in Jefferson County, uh, meteorologist Corey Reppenhagen, 9 News. All right, the windscreen on your microphone needs to get paid overtime. Second, what direction is that blowing? From your left ear to the tip of your scarf, which, which way is, the, that, yeah. is that wind headed? <laughs> Yeah, so it's almost directly headed from the west to the east right now. This is the base of Cold Creek Canyon, and we talk about the wind tunneling that happens up in uh, Wyoming. This is a kind of a miniature version of that. The base of Cold Creek Canyon and all these canyons along the base of the foothill, that's where you usually see the strongest wind gusts during these events because of that tunneling effect. Okay, so here's my question. I always thought by the sound of the word that if it's going east, it would be easterly. But is it the other way around? Is that westerly winds? <laughs> it's you, you call the winds by where it's coming from. So ah. since this is blowing from the west, it's a west wind. <laughs> west wind. There's a lot of it. That's what Corey Scarf is saying too. <laughs> Thanks for standing out there in it. <laughs> <laughs> the scarf. I love it.